Um, I'm upset with Dan because, you know, he's been one to walk around this house and speak of his religion. I I'm Catholic also. Um, I believe in God. I speak with God. Me and him have, like, you know, we got a connection. I believe I don't have to speak through anybody to get to God. I don't think I have to proclaim to anybody what I feel about God and my religion. But when somebody is going around with the Bible, reading scriptures about white lies and lying and a lot of other stuff that he's been going around the house giving to people and telling me that he will, you know, no longer be a teacher if he is dishonest because it, he portrays it that his students won't, won't understand why he d does that. And he wants to portray himself as an honest person that doesn't cheat, um, that respects females, um, you know, that doesn't, if he doesn't have to lie, he doesn't want to lie. And I, I think he, you know, he said to me that, um, he, he wants his kids to respect him and not, you know, ask, you know, teacher Dan, why did you do that stuff? How come it's okay for you to do that stuff, but not me, you know? And he's constantly, um, I hear him all the time giving people scriptures about certain things and, I mean, I feel as though if you knew you were going to come in here and maybe break your word, I don't think you should dictate to people about um, white lies and lying and honesty um, and swearing on the cross and swearing on the Bible and giving people your word and shaking on it um, when you know that you're not going to, especially when you go out of the way to tell somebody. Um, with the incident with Jesse... And it's funny in this house because whoever you talk to, people associate you with. That's what I'm saying. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, Brian and Jerry, here you are. No, it's not. Jerry following.